Hey everyone, welcome to another AP Statistics video. Today we're going to, we're going to be talking about Pareto diagrams, ogives, and cumulative relative frequency diagrams. Now, the Pareto ogive, ogive and cumulative relative frequency diagram are all very similar, but there's a small difference in between the two. The cumulative relative frequency diagram and ogive only show cumulative relative frequency. The Pareto diagram shows the frequency for each category along with the cumulative relative frequency stacked on top of it, and that the frequencies in the Pareto diagram of each category ordered from left to right in decreasing height. So the most frequent category the most frequent event or category comes first, and then the next most next most frequent and the next most frequent. If that all sounds confusing, I'm going to show you what that means. Okay. So this is a Pareto diagram. Now if I were to ask you for simply an O jive or I guess it's written in ogive, but it's in spelled o, it said ogive. An ogive or a cumulative relative frequency diagram, all I would need is this line right here. And this line is going to show me the cumulative relative frequency. It's going to show the total the cumulative relative frequency for each category and the category behind it. So for example, if I go to this point right here, well this point represents the cumulative relative frequency, so in this case the total percentage of late arrivals that are results from traffic and child care is you know we this dot ends at the second bar right here so it's going to account for the two categories behind it and we look over on the axis over here and we see that the that traffic and child care account for approximately 60% of late arrivals if i were to create an ogive or a cumulative relative frequency plot all I would need is this line. And that once again, remember that line will show you how much what percent what what is the cumulative relative frequency of each of the cat of each category behind that mark. So just to reiterate one more time, if I were to go to this mark right here, it would show me the cumulative relative frequency of of uh, late arrivals as a result of traffic, child care, public transportation, weather, or simply oversleeping. Now the way the Pareto diagram differs from the ogive or the cumulative relative frequency plot, and remember ogive and cumulative relative frequency plot are the same thing, is that the Pareto diagram shows the frequency of each individual category. So traffic, we can see that it takes, you know, it's approximately 53 occurrences of late arrivals as a result of traffic. And approximate and going to the next category, it's approximately, you know, maybe 45 occurrences of late arrivals as a result of childcare. And the what the Pareto diagram is showing, it not only shows us the cumulative relative frequency or what percentage each category makes up of all the total late arrivals, but it shows us the actual frequency, the number of times an event occurs. In this case, it shows us the number of times traffic causes a late arrival, the number of times child care causes a late arrival, public transportation causes a late arrival. It breaks down, it shows the number of times each category is a result, uh, causes a late arrival, and it also shows us the cumulative relative frequency. So to summarize, an ogive, or a cumulative relative frequency plot, will show you the percentage of total occurrences that each category is responsible for. While an Pareto diagram will show you that, that same ogive, that same cumulative relative frequency line, but it will also show you the frequency of each individual category I guess in the in your data sets or in your in your area of study